how to create a custom business email hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own custom business email for your own business it's very easy and it's very beginner friendly so without any delay let's get to the video so first of all what you have to do is open uh, googleworkspace.com and basically it's workspace.google.com and you can search it on your browser and you can easily you know um get it open and if you are already uh, you use chrome then you can just go on to a sidebar which says google apps and you can just open the workspace from that and this is the home page so basically a business email has your own business name on to the email like for a regular email you have your name dot uh, at the rate of dot gmail.com this is the email format for but in the business email you have at the rate of the, uh, your specific business.com so it, it makes you look very attractive and it may also makes your business look very professional to your any uh, to your audience to your buyers or to the people that you're promoting your business to for example if you send out promotions uh, from a regular email and from a business email both have different impacts on the persons viewing them because uh, the one with the regular email will look very unprofessional it will look clumsy and it will be uh, from someone who is just getting started or something but from a business email it will look very authentic it will look very professional so you have to get something that you know may grows your audience and stuff like that so first of all after doing that you, after coming out of the workspace as you can see here this is the option of a flexible innovative solution for people and organizations to achieve more so if you drag down you can see all the features uh, of the google workspace and everything but if you're going to get started so you can just either click this button right here or click this button right here both will do the same thing so just uh, click on this button and it will redirect to you you to another page to basically to start of the process of creating everything so uh, it's uh, it will ask you for your name and i have typed in my name if and your cu current email address it has to be some, uh, the one that you regularly use for your uh, you know different purposes like to sending out emails and everything so you can add in your email address if you have this google workspace uh, you have to basically choose uh, how many persons are going to choose uh, use your google workspace if it if it's just you then click on this one if it's a small team like like if it's a small business then choose this one if it's a large business then you can also choose this one i choose uh you know uh, two to nine people and i will set up a google workspace with a specified domain so basically it will uh, it asks asks you if you have an existing domain or if you want a new domain so domain is basically the url um, you know basically a website name a website url of your own business like if you have a shopify store or something like that then you can easily get a if you have an existing domain uh, but if you don't then you have to come up with a new domain so you have to choose this option so I, I will you know i will make you go through both of them one by one but for now i'm just going with this which says new domain right here and now you have to search for a domain name like uh you know what your business is going to be so i'm just going to uh you know search for picky eaters let's say i'm just going to this is my business name so i'm just going to search it here and see if uh, there is any domain that is available uh, related to this name or even this name so as you can see this picky eaters.com is unavailable because it has already been taken but these ones here uh picky eaters.dog picky eaters list and everything is available so um picky eaters um recipes i'm just going to add in another uh, variable here picky eaters recipes so i'm just going to search if it's available so as you can see picky eaters recipes is available and it's an exact match and dot com is available for me and so i'm just going to go with this one so you have your own domain name continue with picky eaters recipes dot com and i'm just going to continue okay so now you want to add in your contact information for that you have to add your street address your uh, street address address line to your sector city postal code and your valid phone number it's very important to add your you know contact information so that uh, google can uh, you know better verify you as an authentic seller and it will help you grow your business as well so i'm just you know going to leave it as it is but uh, you know it won't let me because uh, you cannot leave phone number so i must have to provide an authentic phone number for it to verify my account and everything so i'm just going to quickly add in my phone number and continue and i will get back to you guys okay so now as you can see how you will sign in so basically now you have to uh, add in a sign in info to your google workspace so you have to add a username and a uh, username at the rate of picky eaters uh, recipes.com as you can see your domain has been created so i'm just going to add in ella green which is 
you know the name that i provided for my id and you can uh, have to generate a password for you to sign in and as you can see i'm just going to you know uh, I'm not a robot and I'm just going to create and continue to check out. So as you can see now, uh, here are some payment plans that you can uh, get for, you know, on Google Workspace because it is uh, something that is, uh, you know, paid. But as you can see, the payment is very, very minimal. It is $5.40 uh, per user per month. So it is not very, you know, too much for something that has such incredible features and which allows you to have so much. And if you have any promo code, uh, then you can add here but i don't uh right now so i'm just going to go with the next right here so uh let me s tell you guys what it's like so review and check out so basically uh by clicking agree and so now you have to basically add in your account information for you to add the payment method basically it asks for your card number and these are the options available for your card as you can see they have western union visa mastercard and etc so you can uh you know add in your card number and everything and you can add the primary uh, the account type and name and address and your primary contact has been uh, added to your customer info and uh, your this is your business charter this is basically your package and this is the domain and this is how much it is for it is for 12 dollars yearly which is very very cheap and if you click on this button which says agree and continue then you will be able to create your own very 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 customized and very very genuine business email very very easily so this was all about if you don't have a domain this is uh, the process that you have to follow so let me show you what it would be like if you already have a domain so as you can see if you have an existing domain you have to click this option which says existing domain here and now you have to add the name uh, you know enter your existing domain like uh you will use a domain you already own to set up your custom email we'll have to prove that you own this domain later so you have to add a domain name which is your basically existing domain and then they will uh you know recheck it and confirm that it's yours and then they will be able to create your email using that one it's that easy and it's that simple basically okay guys so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys understood everything completely and i hope i was a really big help to you in understanding imparting that knowledge about this platform completely so i really try to get into each and every detail and each and every aspect that i can tell you guys about the platform and about the whole topic but if i miss something or if there is something that you cannot understand or that is you know the concept basically just uh i missed it or if there is something problematic with the video you can just comment them down if you have any query you can also write it down in the comment section i will try to get back to you guys really quickly and i will answer each and every query that you have in a really good manner so that there is no ailment left and there is nothing uh, untouched and unturned so that you about the topic that you don't understand and uh, please give this video a big thumbs up because your appreciation really motivates me to make new topics to make new videos for you guys so that you have everything all the platforms that are digital that are in use these days covered and in your knowledge and also please subscribe to our channel and uh, click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications so that every time i upload a video about anything you can get notified about it please take good care of yourself i will surely see you in the next video with a new topic until then take care bye bye